Hi YouTube, I'm Aiman, and if you have a stubborn steering wheel that you can't take out, uh, like in this car, then I'm going to show you, uh, using a special set of tools designed for this, how to take out the steering wheel. For example, it might be rusted or stuck, and on most cars you should be able to wiggle it out, especially Honda cars, you should be able to wiggle it out. But on some cars, they may be stuck, and that's where this bolt type wheel puller set comes into play. Alright, so let's see how it works. So. First you want to take your uh, pressure screw and you want to fit it onto the hole. So you want to make sure it's not too tight or too loose. Now if it's too big or too small, they have uh, pressure, they have shaft centering adapters that make sure that it doesn't go too far in and it works quite well. So we don't need that. And then you also have the yoke. So the way it works is that the pressure screw goes onto the yoke, so you want to screw it in. And then, if you look on the steering wheel, there are two holes for bolts. Now, since they have an assortment of bolts, you want to test them to make sure that they fit. Now, let's take an arbitrary screw right here. As you can see, it's too big. However, they have thinner bolts. Let's try this one. Hey, it does fit. So, you want to screw the pressure screw in. You want to fit it over, I have to screw it in a bit more. All right, so once it's fixed over, you can put in the bolts. So make sure that the holes are over them. So the way that this works is that when you unscrew the pressure screw, it's gonna cause the, no, when you screw the pressure screw, when you turn the pressure screw, it's actually gonna cause the yoke to go towards you. And as it goes towards you, it's gonna cause the bolts to catch onto the yoke and sort of Actually, you don't have to screw it in, I'm guessing, but full. It's, it's basically going to try to vice its way out. Uh, so, since the, the head of the bolts are bigger than the holes of the yoke, it's going to catch. But if you have a screw that might be a bit too small, it might actually go through. You can always just use a washer. Uh, these washers look a bit thin. Uh, you can always use your own washers in order to catch on. But in our case, we don't have that problem. All right, so after you have this sort of setup, you want to turn the pressure screw so that it just goes up loose enough. You don't need to tighten it too much. You just want to make sure that it goes up here. So once it's too tight to tighten it anymore, or turn it anymore, take a ratchet uh, like here. We have a number 14 socket wrench. So we're going to put it on and we're going to turn it clockwise. And the way it should work that as you turn it, it goes towards you. So let's see it in action. All right, so once you uh, twist it enough, you should feel it like wiggling, and it should be able to just come out. So let's try it. Let me put this down. And presto, it works, wow. That's pretty cool. Alright, so next I'm going to screw this as far as I can. Then we're going to take a big wrench. We have a number 14 socket right here. And then if I recall correctly, we turn it clockwise. Because we're... It seems like it got tighter. I mean, it got looser. So that means... Moment of glory. Oh, jeez. Oh, this doesn't come off, I guess. See, so that means that the uh, bolt type wheel puller set did work, and it worked fairly well. Really good. I'm my mind, and I just showed you how to remove a stubborn steering wheel from a Honda Accord 2003 to 2007. Really, any car, because we also did it from our Chrysler. So, uh, I definitely recommend this uh, Pittsburgh bolt type wheel puller set. It's very cheap, around twelve to fifteen dollars. So uh, check it out. I'll link it down in the description below. And uh, reflecting on it, it's actually pretty cool how it works. I'm pretty sure they use the same mechanism for removing the stuck mouthpiece on a trumpet. Uh, I might not be too sure. I'm pretty. I haven't played trumpet for like three years, so I might be forgetting. But they they sort of use the same lead screw mechanism. 
Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I, I and Iman, especially the auto repair videos and the uh, removing and repairing parts uh, on cars. So, uh, actually, I'm not done. So I, I won't, I won't like peace out. Actually, so uh, I'll see you later.